Hello everyone. Welcome to Wongo Vision Technology and today we will discuss about like best IDE for C programming language. According to me, the best programming language for C is Dev C++. I'll share my screen so that we can check how Dev C++ works. So first we need to use Dev C++. So here the IDE is opening. So this is the basic window of home page of IDE. From here we need to make a source code file. So clicking here, allow us to make a source code file. So here we will click source file. And now we don't have to do anything. We just have to type our C program. So let's type a uh, hello world program. So include, so we need to include the header file, hdr.h, so that we can use printf to print the messages on the screen. Now ink main, ink main method is the entry point of C programs. So we need to include, uh, we need to declare this method ink main. So since the return type is ink, so we need to return a value as well. Return zero. Now let's use printf to print a message. Printf, hello world. See, simple, a semicolon. Now I'll explain this program. See, this is the header file we need to include so that we can use printf. Then we have to define this ink main method. This is the entry point. If you are not defining a main method in your C program, you cannot execute the code because it is the entry po point. And if you're not using it, the entry point is missing in from your program. After defining the entry point, we are using printf. This is the method that is the inbuilt method of, like defining method of h header file. We are calling this method and we are passing our string, a message to it, and it is printing. It will print this message on the screen. So print it. Now, we can change this again type also. We can use void main and then the gun zero will not be a part of it because the gun type is void. Void methods do not return anything. Now, we know that to, we have to compile the C program first and then we have to execute them. So this here, we can compile them, right? So first we need to save the, we need to save the code. So we can, you can execute both C and C++ programming languages on this IDE. You just have to save the like file as C or C++. So mine is C program. So I'm using C source files dot C. Then name of the file. Yeah. So now the code will be compiled. C compilation results, error zero, warning zeros and all of it. Right now we will execute the code. So here is the output. Hello world. So this is the console window of C programming language. Uh, console window for this Dave C++ IDE. From this console window only we take inputs. Like I'll show you how. Let's write uh, int A. Scan F and for uh, yeah, percentage D because we are inputting an uh, integer value and then and A and for A. So we are storing the value inside A, right? So we will pass a number is percentage D, comma K. So we are now printing the value of A after taking the input. So we need to compile the code first. Compilation results are here on the screen. Now we will execute the code. So run, and now we need to input a value, so like center 123. So the number is 123. So this is the same console from which we have to input the value, and here output will also be displayed. So yeah, this is the perfect IDE for beginners to learn because it do not have auto typing. And for beginners, remembering syntax is very important. Right? Like they shouldn't take help of the auto typing from the starting. Right, they should write their own program completely. So that's why I consider this Dave C++ as the best IDE for beginners learning C programming language or C++. Both of them works on this IDE. Thank you guys.